and they break out of the gate and a pretty level break with one or two exceptions. Cubism looked to be a bit slow away. Uh, trace clip may have been slow as well. Sunley sent showing a lot of speed in splendid isolation down the centre of the course. Uh, meanwhile, uh, towards the far side, Cyclone Connie with Roselle and Cathology in the yellow jacket and Artie on the far rail. They're amongst the leaders over there, chased by Smart Predator and Compton Banker. Uh, meanwhile, looking towards the near side, Seven No Trumps just about has the edge over Injars and Sister-in-Law. This is the near side group chasing them is Kia Park and then Shoe Shine Boy just in behind with Little Edward as well. Two and a half furlongs left to cover on the stand side. Still seven no trumps with Sister in Law chasing hard and in jars with the bright white face. Little Edward and Kia Park on the far side. Cyclone Connie and Artie are dueling away with the tattling beginning to charge home. They're inside the final furlong. Cyclone Connie on the far side. Artie and the tattling on the near side. In jars, Sister in Law. Shoe Shine Boy tries to get through. How Mahera dashing home fast now as they race towards the line and Halma Hera in the nose band and he's won one. Halma Hera has won a big sprint. Halma Hera wins the Portland. Injars on the near side probably second. Cyclone Connie was just worn down and then a real bunch for the miners. We'll find out in a moment. A tremendous finish to the Portland as you'd expect. It's lived up to its name. Five and a half furlong dash. It looks on that evidence as if Halma Hera has won now. Halmahira and Injaz are the first and second here. The camera seems to have gone to Halmahira. We were saying before he deserved to win. He's done amazingly well because he was slowly away at the stalls and he looked like he had a mountain to climb. Yes, he didn't do himself any favours at all, did he? But they've run to form, Goodwood form, Injaz and Halmahira. He was waited to reverse the form of that Goodwood effort and they've run pretty much to form those two. Mm. A tremendous effort and he's defied that stat about the three and four-year-olds. But he's deserved a race like this. It's been coming, Emma, and I'm really delighted for Kevin. He looked an absolute picture in the parade ring and a thoroughly deserved victory. Mm. It's, it's sufficiently well, that, yet Yeah, that was the photo. I mean, you could, you okay. could, you'd be pretty confident there looking at that evidence that he has just beaten in jazz on this side. You've got Keir Park in between them who's run an absolute blinder. Here's the Here is the result of the race. photograph. First, First number 12, Halma Hira. Second number, Second number 11, 11 in jazz. Third number one, Third number one Keir Park. Fourth number 21, Fourth number 21 which is Cyclone Connie, which has done the best of the far Fourth side numbers drawn in stall at number two. Now we can see this once again. Hal Mahira, look where he's come from here. I mean, he's had to, he's, he's needed luck in running, hasn't he? Because he's had to weave his way through Darrell Holland. I think he was lucky that the field did split and he didn't have too many horses to come through. They've gone off fairly hard, haven't they? And Darrell's picked them off quietly after missing that break ever so slightly. Not as badly as Trace Clip. They were he's, every he's shown some turn of foot, hasn't he, to get out? Well, he really has quickened, but he did look an absolute picture in the parade ring. Kevin Ryan's horse